I'm making a brunch dish this morning. I thought, I actually just really fancied it myself and then I thought, well, I'd love to show you all how to do it. It is so simple and it involves making sweet potato rosters. So I'm just going to get, you've no need to peel the sweet potato, just getting the ends off there because they were just a little bit sort of um, funny looking. I am going to grate about 80 grams of sweet potato into a bowl here. Now I'm not going to grate this sweet potato really, really coarsely. Um, I'm grating, and I'm not obviously grating it on a very fine zester. What I'm doing is I'm kind of grating it in between the two because I'd actually want the sweet potato to cook quite fast. So I am, if you can see here actually, what the kind of level of the sort of the grate level is or the kind of the thickness of the sweet potato here and you'll get an idea of what, what I'm after and that's just so that you don't wait all day for this whole this roster to cook so I'm just this is I'm making up a serving for one person but of course you can double the recipe or triple the recipe it's very very easy so that's about 80 grams there of sweet potato I'm actually going to also chop in some spring onion and um, I love onions I just love onions all onions because they're prebiotic they're absolutely fantastic for your gut and you know if you can tolerate them they're just wonderful I'm just using spring onions here today because they cook so fast so I'm using a spring onion um, if you're following a low format start you can still use them just use the green tops I'm just going to use some spring onion here chucking that in as well. I'm going to put in some flavours now because actually the sweet potato doesn't have a massive amount of flavour on its own. So I'm adding in about a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Whoa, just when I opened that lid, the smell was fantastic. And I'm adding in some salt and pepper. There we go. And some pepper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind this together, this rusty, with a really small egg. You can use half an egg or a tiny egg. I've got this really baby little hen's egg here. And so I'm actually just going to mix that together. There we go. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to mix it together. And the egg simply binds the rusty together. What you could use if you don't eat eggs or can't tolerate them or you're a vegan then what you could use is you could use psyllium husks or ground flax seeds instead and you just use about a tablespoon and you just let the whole mixture rest before you cook it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes and that way it kind of becomes sticky and it can replace the egg like that so I'm going to pop some olive oil into this pan I put this pan on medium medium high heat not too hot I put it on just so I the trick here is to crisp up the rusty on the outside and cook it in the center but you also want to be a bit careful about getting it too crispy and overcooked on the outside before it's cooked on the inside so that's the sort of the, the trick um, what I've done is I made two balls with the sweet potato mixture and I'm just going to cook that off there in that fry pan with the olive oil Flatten it off a bit. There we go. So and get that cooking. Nice. Turn the heat up just a little bit as well. Oh, got a hair in my mouth. Mm. Mm. That's my winter warmer tea. It's a, a hibiscus tea. Oh, delicious. Aquasol tea. I love it. Now, what we're going to put with this, we are going to put all sorts of things with this. I'm going to be putting some avocado with this. If you're following a low histamine diet, just leave it out. Don't bother about it. But I'm going to pop some avocado in. There we go. It's for one person, and this is quite a large avocado, so I think that a quarter of it will be plenty here. You use as much as you like. So that's going to go on top afterwards once it's cooked. Plus, I'm going to cook up some kind of spinach I'm gonna wilt it I've got a few varieties here you can use anything you can use spinach you can use chard or cavolo nero or kale or silver beet or whatever you like and I'm gonna use that um, to sort of wilt and, and be on top of the rusty so I just wanted to perk up 
the spinach and the cavolo nero. That's what I'm using. I want to perk it up a bit. And I was just going to chop up a chilli just to go in with the green wilted leaves. Just a little bit of chilli just for me. I just like that background heat. You can leave this out if you don't like chilli. Absolutely not a problem at all. Just a little bit of chilli. And if you're using um, another leaf apart from spinach, then cut it up really finely so it's not too chewy in the mouth because all you're doing with this spinach is you're wilting it. Just, and that's probably going to be enough for one person because then I've got this handful here of that spinach. So all together that's going to go in the pan and be wilted. But I won't put that in straight away because it actually just cooks up really fast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my egg cooking just once I turn these over. They are sounding like they're doing really well. Mm. Let's get them turned over. There we go. Probably put a bit too much oil in that pan. <laughs> there you go. So you see how they do catch a little bit because they're sweet potatoes. And I probably caught that maybe a bit too far, but it'll be, it'll be all right. Okay, now I want to cook up my egg so it's ready at the same time as well. So I'm going to pop that in there to start cooking it. You could poach your egg if you wanted, or you can make scrambled eggs to go on top. It, it all works. It's absolutely fine. All right. Let's get this mm. I can actually smell the cumin cooking off here in the rusty. And it, the smell is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Okay, we're almost ready to bring that rusty out. Let's just feel it. It goes firmer, actually, as it cooks. Yep, that's feeling ready. So you just want it nice and crisp on the outside and you want it cooked in the centre. So let's bring that over here, like that. And let's put this spinach into, spinach and cavolo nero into wilt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just adding in the uh, chilli, oh, which is all on my hands here. And I love it. Now, the thing with the spinach and cooking it just so it's wilted and the cavolo nero is it actually absorbed more of its beneficial nutrients. So you absorb more of the beta carotene, for instance, in it. And then when you cook it also with a little bit of the olive oil, that has actually the same effect, where it actually makes the nutrients in the wilted greens more bioavailable in your gut. Now this egg, which is, oh, which is broken on me, so you won't get this pretty little egg effect. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Anyway, that is ready and done, and so all I'm going to do is just wilt off these green leaves and a little bit of that olive oil, just, just to make them more bioavailable. Here they come. Wilt them off. There we go. And pop them on top. As well. Mmm, one more, there we go. And I think that a little bit of extra salt and pepper on top would be good. And then we want to pop on the sliced avocado. And that's just, I mean, it's smelling lovely. And I know it's going to be great for my gut and great for my body. And I'm going to really enjoy it. Let's pop some avocado there. And do that and you know what I'm going to finish it off with I think I'm going to finish it off with um, a little bit of sauerkraut which actually enhances digestion and stimulates the digestion so I'm going to pop a bit of sauerkraut here and there we go mmm I'm going to enjoy that now 